To write the name for CuOH, we first need to recognize we have a metal, that's copper, and then we have this polyatomic ion, a group of nonmetals. We have a metal in this polyatomic ion, these nonmetals. This is going to be an ionic compound. So first, we write the name of the metal as it appears on the periodic table. That's copper. Next, we're going to write the name for the polyatomic ion. That's this OH. When you have OH bonded to a metal, it's called the hydroxide ion, so lowercase h. So we have copper hydroxide right now is the name for CuOH. But copper is a transition metal, and it has different charges depending on what it's bonded to. So what we need to do is figure out the charge on the copper and then write it here in the middle. The hydroxide ion, the whole thing, is 1 minus. That means the copper will be 1 plus. So we're going to write a Roman numeral 1 in here with parentheses to show that copper has a 1 plus charge. So the name for CuOH is copper 1 hydroxide. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.